Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere as in a short while we'll be presenting in front of you a scintillating display of aerobatics by the Pilates PC7 Mark II aircraft. Air Officer Commanding in Chief, Training Command, Commandant, Air Force Academy, proud parents and relatives who are witnessing the parade live on their screens, instructors and staff, flight cadets on parade, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning and my congratulations to the 161 graduating officers for being awarded the President's Commission. My congratulations also to the award winners for their outstanding performance during their training and to the six officers from the Indian Navy as well as five officers of the Indian Coast Guard for earning their coveted wings. Good show and keep it up. Today's combined graduation parade is historic because despite severe COVID constraint placed upon the training infrastructure, you all have succeeded in completing your training and that too within the stipulated period. In fact, the Air Force Academy has flown over 20,500 hours over the last one year, highest ever in our history during this period. My special compliments on achieving this milestone and implementing significant enhancements in our training curriculum. Indeed, this day is a great testament to the grit and determination shown by each one of you, as well as to the human contribution by the instructors. I take this opportunity to commend the efforts put in by all our training establishments and the faculty for guiding, mentoring, and teaching not only the fundamentals of a military leader, but also instilling in you the IF core value of mission, integrity, and excellence. Living by these core values and preserving our glorious tradition through selflessness and sacrifice will be your sacred duty from this day on. I would like to express my deep gratitude to all the proud parents who stood by their daughters and sons during an extremely rigorous training schedule. I am mindful of the fact that your awards did not come home during the term break and have been toiling non-stop in pursuit of their dreams. You as their parents and their family should be proud of the fact that your guidance, support and encouragement are here for all to see as your children stand on the parade ground, resplendent in their blue uniforms and transformed into spirited and confident officers of the Indian Air Force. To all these graduating officers, I have this to say, in a short while from now, you will all take your first steps into the IAF as commissioned officers. As you do so, it is essential for you to know where you are headed and the huge responsibilities that will come to rest on your young shoulders. IAF is undergoing a monumental transformation, rapid infusion of niche technologies and combat power in every facet of our operations has never been as intense as it is now. This is primarily because 
of the unprecedented and rapidly evolving security challenges that we face, coupled with the rising geopolitical uncertainty in our neighborhood and beyond. The last few decades have clearly established the critical role of air power in achieving victory in any conflict. It is in this backdrop that IF's ongoing capability enhancements assumes tremendous significance. All of you are very fortunate to be joining the Air Force at this juncture. The pilots will get to fly fighters carrying an array of potent standoff weapons and connected in networks. The transport and helicopter fleets are equipped with C-17, C-130, ALH, Chinooks and Apaches, which are state of art and are capable of contributing equally effectively in war or in any HADR situation. Engineers will need to master the EMMS, which is one of the world's largest networked aircraft maintenance management system that we have established across the diverse types of aircraft. Controllers will have to adapt to vectoring large formations using digitized and networked ISCCS system in the MAFI environment. Logisticians will use automation to drive procurement and resupply through totally automated and computerized networks on inventory management. All of you will be tied together with a completely paperless e-governance suit to enhance the efficiency of basic administration across the entire Indian Air Force. I have always believed that the generation you belong to is technologically adept and well-versed with exploiting the digital space. And now is the time for you to prove it. I can assure you that the environment you will step into when you cross these portals will not only challenge but stretch your capabilities. You will need to hit the ground running and work hard to deliver what the Air Force expects of you. It was with this focus that BTEC degree was introduced compulsorily for the Air Force cadets in the National Defense Academy. And I'm happy today to note that the 81 of the 87 graduating officers from flying branch today are BTEC. I'm sure this will facilitate rapid comprehension and exploitation of modern platforms, weapons, sensors, and technologies. Notwithstanding all these advances in technology, as young leaders, you must know that IAF's core strength is in our people, and you must always nurture this strength as you grow. While maintaining operational readiness, IAF has been proactively assisting in the national fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Proactive vaccination and strict COVID discipline within the Air Force enabled us to undertake all COVID tasks on a war footing. IF's heavy lift capability was put into action for lift of crucial COVID-related equipment, wherein our transport fleets flew more than 3,800 hours in just under two months, in a huge effort across the globe and domestically to transport not only oxygen tankers, but all the COVID-related oxygen uh, medical equipment and supplies. You are joining the field that operates at this level, across the spectrum. It is also essential for all of you to bear in mind that as future leaders, you will stand shoulder to shoulder with your comrades in olive greens and whites and prosecute integrated operations. You will be an integral part of this important transitions in the years ahead. Before I conclude, once again, I congratulate the newly commissioned officers for your achievements. And as you grow in your career, you must face each challenge with determination and courage. Conduct yourself with dignity and honor and aim for the highest professional standards. Lead by personal example and uphold the ethos and culture of the IF always and every time. Jai Hind!